Yo, what's going on guys? Many here and welcome back once again to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Last week and we came out with another win, a 2-1 victory against Oddfellows. Uh, we did have to work very hard for it. We went a goal down, we had to come back, we had to fight, but in the end we got the three points that we weren't looking for. Obviously the aim for today is no different. We are looking for another set of three points and hopefully we can get just that. As always, before we do all of that, let's check in with the UTR gang. Kyle Atwood is the first entry this week and he says, Good to see Bradley continues his perfect defence even on the sideline. Love watching this series, especially as a way of relaxing during the HSC final exams. And there we have an image of exactly what he's talking about. Bradley still defending even on the sidelines. You love to see it. Then we've got JDogs32 says, Love watching the boys each week after school. See how he said after school, not during school. Some of you guys watch during school, but he says, Love from Australia. We love that. LVD's message is, love watching the boys every Tuesday due to scouting, talk to Tolu about joining the team, but he said think bigger than UTR, but UTR over everything, good luck for the rest of the year boys, and much love from Toronto, Canada. Yeah, I get that as well, a lot of people do say like they want to fly over and come and play for UTR, that's not the standard that you really want to play if you want to be going higher realistically, we play it for a bit of fun. Anthony Leveland says, tough game, big win boys, keep them W's coming, another massive three points, that's exactly what it was. Henry's watching from Bradford and he's saying, nothing better than coming home after a win and having a pizza, watching under the radar of C, keep up the work lads, doing great. And then finally we have Luna, who's doing what I think a few people do on a Sunday, mixing FIFA with Sunday League, we love that, thank you. Also, that's a nice setup. Right, so issues with Mitch means we have been left in a little bit of a situation. We have no goalkeeper for today, so someone's going to need to step up. Initially, that someone was going to be me, but I pretty much let one in in the warm-up, and we decided, you know what, Jed, Jed, you can go and goal. Jed stepped up, and that's going to be our goalkeeper for today. Our defence today is going to be Quams at right-back, Tolu and Will at centre-back, and Reggie at left-back. Leaving us with a midfield three of myself, Eric and Mike's. I'm also glad to announce guys that the superstar Lanray is finally starting a game. Lanray is going to be on the left, um, Sam's going to be on the right and up front through the middle to start with is going to be Drew. On the bench for us today is going to be Thomas, Toby and Jams. Oh, last minute change up. You guys, the energy has been amazing, we're having fun, but we need to take that into the game. Have fun, but with a purpose. Yeah. Don't take the piss. First minute, we're boom, we're in on it. Let's not start slow. If you start slow, we can get punished, yeah? Mm -hmm. Same always. I, I'm not expecting the back four to be the only one speaking. Everyone throughout the pitch, encourage. It's football, everyone makes mistakes. They're not going out to be like, okay, oh, let me make a mistake today. Everyone does it, not on purpose. So let's take shots, as I always say, test this keeper and energies. Not all, this funeral vibe that I always get every week is too dead. That's what makes us start slow. So let's get energy from minute one. Uh, let me just say, you know the situation already. What we have to do is we need to make sure we protect, protect uh, Jed. We don't allow them in and around our area for stupid reasons. We don't give away silly free kicks. We don't give them reasons to pump it into the box because that's what they're going to do. So you have to make sure that we're switched on from the off. Just let's go for the throat. Let's try to get early goals, get their heads down, and then the game's ours. But we need to do that because today we're in a dire position. We don't want to be in that position for long. You understand? So please, I'm, I'm begging everyone. I need everything from you, everything. So whether you're starting, whether you're on the bench, you have to be ready to come on and do something and affect the game positively. Broken record again, but my front three, I need you not to work your ass off today. My back four, I need you to be as solid as you've been for the last four games. Like my middle three, I need you not to work together and dictate, dictate it today. Let set the pace for us. Honestly, you don't know how this keeper thing is gonna affect us in. in they get shots off. So we need to control it. We need to. Three, two, one. You do! Hey, that was that wasn't on one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let's try and play back for me. As I mentioned before, no goalkeeper. It means that we've had to put Jed in goal. He stepped up, so fair play to him. He's one of those guys that you put him in any position and he'll try and do you a job as best as he can anyway. Okay, so here we go. We are ready to play. We're going to be on the Astro today, which might give us a bit of an advantage, but also them. Uh, they're in this light kit. I don't even know how to describe it colour-wise, but off we go. This man here for Burridge Blue is trying to escape with possession. He's gone in a little bit dangerously there, and uh, we're going to win the free kick from that. 
Mike's standing over the free kick and he's going to curl one into the box. Uh, keeper's just going to claim it though. He's then opted to go for the long one. It's gone down to the number 11 for Burridge. Nice little touch. I'm pretty sure he has a pair for SE Dons before. It might be Scott or Guardi. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, Will calm and composed as ever. Under pressure from the number 10 finds Mike's. Mike's then has Eric to his left. Eric uh, looking for a forward pass and he's got one uh, to Lamray. Superstar Lamray. The excitement that I get from being able to commentate over him finally. Uh, plays it into the box here with the left foot. It's going to drop to Sam. And Sam applying the finish in off the post. That is 1-0 to UTR. Surprise, surprise, the first goal came from a little bit of Lambray magic. Cuts it across the box. They haven't defended it well, and Sam's there to apply the finish. So then, an early goal, exactly what we needed. Can we push on from there? It's in the air now, and it's going to be a 13 win in the header. It's then flicked on by that man, and it's going to be number 10 chase. And I've heard he played at a very high level of football. I'm talking Prem clubs that I heard. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. We now have the ball with Eric. Uh, Eric's going to play it into my feet. Uh, I see Lamray there, but we're going to miss him out and go out to Reggie. The pass is held up. I played a little bit behind him, to be fair. Uh, Reggie plays it into Lamray. That guy's gone sliding across. Uh, Lamray into the box. He's cut back this time. He's cut back again. He's sold another dream. It's into Drew. Drew with the left footed shot. Rolls it straight down the throat of the keeper. Bringing it out from the back now, it's Tolu into Eric. Eric with the drag back. See you later, number 13. It goes into Lamray's feet. Number 11 hot on his heels, clipping there, but he can't get him. Uh, it goes into Drew's feet. Drew cuts back, plays it back to Mike's. Mike's takes a shot. Keeper's going to gather it. Number 10 for Burridge Blues uh, can turn for days, but I think he played at the same team as Tolu uh, before, so Tolu might know his game. Uh, challenge there from uh, Mike's and support from Tolu allows us to get the ball into the Burridge Blues box. It goes into Mike's here. Mike's with the attempt, and it's tipped over by the goalkeeper. Not too bad. Mike's has then gone over to take that corner. It's into the box there. It looks like the keeper's dropped it. 13's going to hook it away. Uh, is it going to come down here to Lamray? Lamray up against the number nine. They're calling for a foul. Referee's not giving it. Play continues. It's out to Sam. Sam down the right hand side. Puts the ball across the box. It's a good ball as well. Keeper's done enough to take it. Uh, just behind Drew. Drew's going to keep it alive. Just about. It's going to come to me. Out to Eric. Eric onto Lamray. Lamray's shot's blocked by the 13 and they will clear it. Will's bringing it out from the back and you can see that he's scouting to see if he can find something forward, uh, which he does find. It's Sam making the run in behind on the right. Lamray's down on the ground. I'm not sure what's happened. I think he may have jarred his shot on that last attempt. And we do get the follow-up there from Drew, but I don't know if the goal is going to count or not. Drew's celebrating. Lamray's down. Uh, we're going to check up on him. But I think the referee might be about to overturn this decision because they're uh, heavily contesting it and it does seem that he's given the offside. We didn't think it was offside, but uh, play's going to have to continue on anyway. It's uh, number 11 who clips it nicely over for the 10. 10's going to lob Jed there, but I don't think it's going to count. Uh, it's been given as offside, which I'm not sure is the right decision, you know. I'm pretty sure that the 10 was onside, so that could have been 1-1 there. So then, we've each had a goal disallowed. This time the ball's going to go out wide to Sam. 1-2 with Mike. Sam continues. Uh, Eric leaves it to Sam. Sam goes for a shot. Hasn't really got enough power or direction on it, and it'll go wide of the target. The ball comes into Reggie's feet. Reggie with the drag back. Uh, cuts into Eric. Goes for the 1-2. Uh, Eric uh, received a strong tackle there from that guy. And then uh, Reggie's been chopped down on the edge of the box. So that's going to give us a free kick. When the superstars come back into the team, they're allowed to resume free kick duties. And Lamre does just that, but he can't keep it down. That will actually be his last action. He doesn't want to stress his injury. So we're going to substitute uh, him and bring Toby on the pitch. Tolu's got the ball for us, he's got his head up, gets his head down and he knocks one forward up the pitch looking for Drew and the 15's absolutely clattered into Drew and I'm not sure you're allowed to challenge like that, I'm pretty sure he's just elbowed him in the head uh, straight up but we'll get the free kick and hopefully Drew is okay after that, I think he is. I then want to try my luck, I go for it this time but absolutely sliced it, maybe five yards to the left it might have gone top corner. It's going back to Jed now, probably not where we want the ball but we know he's comfy on it and he's going to find Will out to his right. Uh, Will's got the ball, he's got plenty of space and he's going to try and pick one down the line looking for Sam. Uh, Sam touches it down but he's been given offside again. Burridge Blues have it over in the corner, it's Will on Quams trying to stop this guy, he's swiveled, he's taken the ball off the pitch we believe, plays continued but I think the referee's pulled it back in the end for the goal kick. We're just outside their box with Drew, uh, good strength to hold up against the number 7, number 7 still at his heels, nice feet there, it might have gone off a little bit but we've gotten the free kick anyway. 
Mike standing over this free kick, left footed, flashes it across the face of goal and it looks like the goalkeeper's going to touch on that, that would be a corner. Sam then to take this corner, in swinging left footed and Toby gets on it, it's hit off the number seven but the referee's given the goal kick. Reggie's got the ball at left back and he plays it forward looking for me, uh, I've drifted out to the left here, I'm looking for my options, I've got Toby in front of me, I've got Reggie showing as an option again, I'm going to play it into the feet of Drew this time, Drew cuts back, nice feet again, nutmegs the number 11, nutmegs me as well but he's picked up another free kick for us. With that free kick then, it looks like it's Mike's lining up to take it. What can he do with this one? It's going to hit the shins of that guy there. It's going to go out for a throw. Toby goes across to take this throw in. Uh, it's in there. Tolu goes for the flick on it. comes down and the number seven is taking it right off my feet. Captain Tolu picks up the ball. He's our deepest man there and uh, the composure to kite away from the number nine. Uh, take his time and pick a pass out wide to Quams. They're calling for offside. I'm not sure if it was or if it wasn't, but Quams is going to get one across the box. Goalkeeper does well to reach it. Number 10 for Burridge Blues picks up possession. He's trying to find a forward pass. He was literally everywhere on the pitch for them. Very, very annoying player to play against. Jez done well to come rushing out and deal that goes into Will. Eric tries a little flick there, it's not come off and uh, I've tried to play it into Mike's feet, that's not come off. It goes into three now this time but we're going to regain uh, possession now. Can we go on the break there? I'm going to play it in there for Sam. Sam down the right hand side, we know he's direct, we know he can get something to happen at any moment. He's going to play it across the box and Drew's going to have a tap in this time. That is two and two for Drew and it's another goal. There he's doing that celebration on FIFA. I finally saw where that came from. I was wondering what he was doing. That's two nil. We're up against Burridge Blues. Sam getting a goal and an assist so far and uh, he's been a really really good influence on the team since joining drew getting his second goal in two games we love to see it so it's 2-0 now we can get a third goal and maybe kill off the game before half time Coming back to Jed again, uh, he's going to do the safe thing and just get straight back up the pitch. It's cut out by the 15, it's going to come to me, I've cut it out, uh, flicked it around the 7, it goes into Eric. Eric controls the ball and plays it into Mike's. Mike's with a little bit of a loose pass there, it's going to go to the 9. Uh, Eric's going to pick it up again off the number 3, it goes back into Mike's this time. Better pass, it goes through to Drew, uh, it's cut out by the 15 there, he's hot on his toes. And uh, Drew trying to make something happen here, but it looks like we're going to have to start again. This isn't good news for us. Eric's feeling some sort of groin injury, which means we're going to have to make a substitution. That's Thomas on the pitch for us now. Uh, that means that Drew's going to drop into the camp position. Thomas is going to go up front. Burridge Blues have it at uh, left back. Quams is going to step in there on the number 11 and win the ball for us. He's got Sam to his right. Uh, Sam, we know he's got that left foot. They know he's got that left foot, but sometimes you just can't stop it. That's his second goal of the game, his third goal contribution, and he is proving to be a real signing. We love that. Again, like I said, they know he's left footed, we know he's left footed, but sometimes you just can't stop it and he's not afraid to shoot. There it is then, we've gotten the goal that we would have liked just before half time, 3-0 and we might just have killed the game but we can't get complacent, number 10's clipped me there as he's lost the ball uh, but we're going to pick it up here with Toby, Toby back to Reggie, uh, uh, Toby's surrounded by quite a few Burridge Blues shirts, he's somehow gotten away out of that, referee's blown his, his whistle but that's only for half time, so there it is, we're 3-0 up at half time, it's been a decent half, decent performance from us, we haven't really let off our foot off the gas which is something that we tend to do sometimes and I think that we've done a good job so far. Normally sometimes we have a lot of negatives to say. I don't really have many. Apart from at times we're inviting pressure mm. to lose the ball. But this is what the team is about realistically. Odds against us. We haven't really got our main goalkeeper, all that stuff. But we're not caring about that. We're playing our football and that's what I want. And that's what all of us want really. We want to play our football, we want to win games and score goals as well. So I have to say, if we can keep that up for the rest of the game, we go home happy Sunday. That's it. But well played so Thank far, you. let's just keep our discipline yeah, and not allow them back into the, the game. The thing is, yeah, we're winning 3 0 because we've done the, the basics, the right stuff. We didn't like invite pressure, but towards the end, because we got that third goal, we're like dilly dallying. They want to fire us now. They clicked two straight at the end and then went straight for you. Now we know that we're going to have three people charging us when we get the ball, so let's move it faster. Let's not try to dwell on it. And if I'm to be critical, I think we could be more threatening through set pieces. Yeah. I feel like we don't know what we're doing. Like the ball's just getting whipped in, everyone's everywhere. I think um, whoever's taking the set piece, tell us where you want us. And um, in terms of shoot, shooting opportunity, I think let's test the keeper more. Sam's tested him and he can't handle nothing. Even our basic crosses, keeper can't handle. But that just shows he's going to be, he's a bit shaky. So if we continue the way we're doing and even up our level, we can um, win this game comfortably. Yes, Will? Um, I, I would just say like our decision making in like our defensive side and the midfield side has been very, very good in terms of like when to play one, when to play two. It's just keep making the right decisions. Like even if um, 
especially when we're looking to play into wide areas, that quality of the ball has to be better, whether it's into Sam or Toby. But first two thirds, we've been good. So if we keep trusting each other, we'll be all right. But honestly, that's a very good half. If we can build on that, you've done well, man. If you're watching Sunday League with us and you want us to see you guys supporting, then all you have to do is tell us where you're watching it from, what you're watching it on, tag us on Twitter, and then use the hashtag UTR gang. It's pretty simple. Some of those tweets will be used in the video in the following week. So if you want us to see it, make sure to use that hashtag UTR gang because it's very important. Into the second half now, that's Qualms. Uh, on to Mites. Mites back into Qualms. I'm going to pick up the ball now. I've got a few bodies in front of me trying to find a pass there. Uh, goes into the feet of Thomas this time. It's going to come back to Mites. Can Mites make something happen here? Goes for the roulette. Doesn't come off, but he's worked back well to win the ball back for us. And now he's going to try and get his head up, play a ball through there. I think Drew thought he was offside, but I'm not too sure if he was. It's up in the air. It's inside their box. It's always going to cause some sort of confusion. It's uh, Drew and Mites trying to swipe at it there. It's going to go through and back to their right back there. He sets it back to the goalkeeper. Drew, Drew chasing in there. And I think he might have caught the goalkeeper. They're not a good challenge at all. They are not happy with it. Referee's going to give him a talking to. They're going to make up though. And that's the end of that. Burridge Blues have it with their right back there. But that's a loose touch. And Toby's going to capitalise on it. Can we get on a break? Can we counter attack them here with this? And uh, Toby's been brought down by the 15. That's going to be a free kick. He stopped our attack. I think he had to do it to be honest. With that though, he's going to earn himself a place in the books. That is a yellow card for the 15. That free kick then is going to go into the box from Mike's. It's curved into the box. But three's going to clear it eventually. We seem to have Burridge Blues pending at the moment. Uh, number four knocks it back to the 15. 15 tries to get uh, as far as he can to the number 11. Number 11 trying to get it down the line. Toby's blocked that. Mike's is there to help. Mike's with the drag back in between the two players. Nice stuff. Uh, into Thomas. Thomas onto Tolu. Tolu's got Drew to his right now. Drew pops it back through to Thomas. Thomas tries to get a shot off. Deflected behind for a corner. And we've earned ourselves that. Toby's standing over the corner now. He's patiently waiting. I'm doing all sorts of movements in the box. Getting my head there first or actually my shoulder because I haven't connected with where I would have liked to and Burridge Blues will get rid of it. Here's another example of how like this, look, look at his turning circle. This number 10's turning circle and his ball retention is ridiculous. He's given Tolu a bit of a run around there, uh, but at least he's forced him back. This is good pressure here from Sam. Quams is also coming in to stepping on his man there. And Quams has been caught absolutely late by that number two. You can see we're not happy with the challenge because we see the same stuff every week and it's only a matter of time before someone gets seriously injured. So we have to be very careful. That's a yellow card for the number two. If we take another look at it, Quams gets caught late and you can see me absolutely bugging out in the background because I'm actually honestly I say to our players all the time protect yourselves but there's only so much they can do when people just go flying in all the time it's at the back again with Tolu and he plays a game of show me your number number 10 does just that he's seen the back of that shirt Tolu as he plays it to the right to Will Will gets his head up plays the ball down at the line for Sam number 16 does well to get across there keeper's gonna come out there but he's not gonna collect it properly Thomas has it now goes back into Sam Sam tries to lob the keeper there he's got something to it and Burridge Blues will get rid of the ball they're still trying to play it out from the back uh, number four into the 11 uh, 11 and tries to play on around the corner. Tolu's going to step in and win the ball for us. He plays it into the feet of Drew. Good touch. Uh, Drew back into Tolu. He's got quite a few shirts around him. This is decent footwork here from Tolu. It's going to go into Thomas in the box. Uh, 15 tries to put a challenge there. Thomas gets his way through there. And Thomas has poked it uh, through the goalkeeper. And it's going to be 4 0 now. That's good to make his own luck there. Get a bit jammy. But we've gotten the goal at the end. And he's uh, applied the finish through the legs of the keeper. That is 4 0. <laughs> It's really not looking good for them. We've gotten the goal that I think should kill the game. They've picked it up on the far side. Uh, number three's got it for Burridge and uh, it looks like he's trying to find a gap somewhere but Toby's done well to win the ball for us. I'm going to try and play a pass in behind for Sam. Sam's not offside there but it's been given anyway. It's up in the air here for a challenge. Uh, number seven's going to win that. It's going to come to me. I'm going to win that. Goes back to the seven though. I thought I heard a call from Tolu so I left it. Number 11 couldn't control it. I've been clipped but we're going to attack anyway. It's uh, Mike's with the ball. Mike's plays one through to Thomas. Thomas has Sam uh, making the underlap behind him. Thomas, can he find the near post? Decent save from the keeper and he's got it in the end comes out here to Mike's now. He's got Thomas with him. Uh, Thomas uh, picks it up and plays the one-two of Mike's this time. Mike's trying to find the far corner and it wasn't far off at all. That is a very, very close attempt. Will's going to play this one out from the back. It goes into Mike's, who's done well to do get any sort of control on that, really. He's flicked it away from the seven. He's tried to play it to Thomas. He's gone behind Thomas, though, and the 16 is going to pick it up here. But look at this from the big man. Look at the footwork. Where did this come from? The composure. But you can see, like I said, they've got a few players that played a decent level before, and it shows. It goes back to the goalkeeper, who's not got the composure of the 16 there. Uh, Toby back heals it to Thomas. Thomas tries to poke it to Sam here. Sam with a bit of a heavy touch, though, and it's going to be blocked. Burridge Blues escape. They're still playing, they're still playing. To 
be fair, which is good. You don't want to see a team drop off and it's back with this number 10 who just, he just doesn't stop. He's so, honestly, players that play like this are the most irritating thing. He just keeps the ball uh, most of the time. Anyway, it goes back to that man there, the 15. He plays it into the 16, 16, takes a touch, gets his head up and looks for a ball over the top. It goes here to the number 11. Kwam's throwing himself at it. Kwam's has but got him down in the box, but I'm not sure. At first look, this looks like a blatant penalty. But at the same time, it looks like the 11's kicked Kwam, so I really can't tell. But I would be calling for it most definitely. They've picked it up in our half once more. Number 11 does well to skip away from Tolu there. He's uh, going to get the ball under control eventually, it seems. He plays it through, looking for the nine. Jed comes out. He's not had too much to do, and that's the way we wanted to keep it. They're still coming at us. It's going to be the number seven. He's played a loose pass. It's cut out by Will. You spell that C A L M. That's how you spell his name. Uh, it's played back to me. I'm going to knock it into Reggie. Reggie back into me. I'm going to knock it. Uh, looking for Toby. I think it's held up there. I don't know if it's touched him or not, but it's going to come back to this number four. Number four dropped the shoulder, and he's killed myself and Drew there. But it's going to come back here to Reggie. Reggie down the line. I've it run to Toby. Toby's going to play it here. A little bit behind Reggie. He's done well to adjust to it. Number seven can't get a toe on that. He's played it into Mike's. Mike's into Thomas. Thomas shifts it away from the uh, 16, but he's shot straight at the goalkeeper. So it's a chance missed. It's going to come here just before the halfway line to Drew. Drew's been big and strong all game. He's been in the wars as well once again. Plenty of people fouling him. He's done uh, good footwork there. He's given it away for a moment. Number 10's going to pick up the ball and Quams is going to keep it alive for us. Quams does well. He's also had a very good game. Started a little bit slow, but he grew into it. And he's done really well. He's played it down the line for Sam. Sam's got a 16 in front of him. Can he beat the 16? 16 stands strong. Substitutions to be made. Don't mind the graphic. Jams is going to come on for Reggie at left back and uh, Drew's going to come off the pitch. Eric's making his way back onto the field so he's decent. We've got it over on the left with Jamil getting his first few touches of the game. Uh, I play a 1-2 of Jamil uh, trying to get the ball back. He just about gets it back to me. A little bit of footwork there. A little drag back there. Can we keep it going? Uh, can we find a goal at the end of this? I've played it into Thomas into the box and Thomas has lifted it high and over the gate. That will be another opportunity he missed. Number four with the ball at the back for them. He plays it into a three loose touch. I'm jumping there with the threes, commit the foul, and that's going to give us a free kick. Tolu sees a bit of movement from Sam, so he's going to take this one quickly. Uh, it's uh, falling a little bit short, the pass, though. Number two's not dealt with it. It's come out to Sam down this right hand side. Can he do anything there? He's looking for the hat trick, and it's been saved by the keeper. Number 10 with the ball for Burridge. Blues uh, holding it up once more, plays it back to the number two. Number two's blocked by Sam. You can't pass it through a man. Sam's not a hologram, as uh, this time uh, Mike's is breaking with the ball. Mike's bearing down on goal. Mike's opens up his body. But he's put it wide of the target, an opportunity missed once more. Sam has it on the right now, cuts inside, he sold that guy a dream, uh, plays it into Thomas here, Thomas takes a touch and then it's able to just about get it back to Mike's, Mike's knocks it around the corner, Sam tries to get on the end of it, unlucky there and we could almost have gotten something. They're trying to get on the break this time, number seven's left the ball there, it looks like I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to play it to Quams. Quams down the line to Mike's, Mike's takes a touch, takes another one, uh, holds it up for a little bit, looking for a pass and he does find a very good pass to Eric, Eric knocks it into Thomas, Thomas with the one two, doesn't really come off, it's going to come on the edge of the box to Jams and I don't know why he's shot like that. Number 11 for Burridge Blues uh, stopped in his tracks by Tolu. It's going to fall back to a three though. That's a decent pass there. Jams has done well to deal with it and Will will just sweep it up. They haven't really done too much. We haven't got our actual goalkeeper in goal so they should have taken more shots. Another substitution now. We're going to bring Mike's off. We're going to bring Drew back onto the pitch. That's the beauty of roll on roll off. Will's got the ball and he plays it into the feet of Eric. Eric runs into a bit of traffic, got quite a few Burridge Blues shirts around him. The ball's going to drop to the nine. Nine's going to cut inside, try and take a shot. It's deflected on the edge of the box. Seven's going to line one up and he's uh, going to drag it wide and no problems for Jed again. Thomas now has the ball for us. He's holding it up. He plays it into me. I've uh, skipped away from that guy there. I've got a bit of space to drive into here. I've got players to my left, players to my right. And I've decided to go for some sort of scoop shot, which is just not good enough. I mean, it's funny laughing now, but I really need to learn to get the ball out of my feet and make sure I'm shooting properly. It's coming over the top. Number 16 is going to win the header for them. It's going to go down to this number six. Number six tries to weave his way through. It looks like I'm going to pick the ball up and knock it back to Quams this time. Uh, Quams has knocked it forward uh, against this number 16. And look, this is what I'm saying. Look at this. The composure to be doing shoulder drops in your own box is ridiculous. It looks like they've fallen to sleep as this time the number seven's been uh, pickpocketed by Thomas. Thomas plays it onto Eric. Eric with the back heel into Thomas. Thomas surely can make this count. Goalkeeper saved it straight into the path of Sam there and it's going to go in off the crossbar. There's the hat-trick and you can see we're all so excited for Sam to get his first hat-trick. He's so used to scoring goals normally in whatever team he play plays for and so far he's struggled a little bit at UTR but finally he's getting the goals that we need him to get. I am so happy right now. Yeah. 
That actually makes him UTR's top scorer at the moment, I'm pretty sure, with four goals. The ball's loose and it's going to come into the hat-trick hero, Sam. Sam's going to knock it back to Eric. Eric's going to play it into my feet. I'm going to knock it first time around the corner to Sam. He knocks it onto Thomas too. Uh, Thomas has left the 15 on his bottom and he's going to drive towards goal. Thomas got the four to beat. Thomas does beat the four, but it's going to hit the three and go behind for a corner. Toby's then going to go over to take that corner. It's into the box high towards the back post. It's going to go for Sam. Sam's head has been blocked and that could have been four there. It's cleared further away by the number five. We're still not giving them much room to do anything. It's a back hill there. Loose from the number six who's come on the pitch. 16 looks to have given up. It's come to Sam here. Sam beats the 15. Sam beats the keeper. And Sam's got his fourth goal of the game. That is 6-0. This guy just doesn't stop scoring. Honestly, we love to see it. It's good that he's scoring. He's finally getting the goals out. And like I said, he's used to it. You can see that. Even this time, they think it's all left foot. He goes onto the right and he's able to apply the finish too. Very, very good goal. That is the game done, surely now. 6-0, we're into the 90th, oh, 91st minute, sorry. As they've played this over the top, it's up against Jams. This number 10 up against Jams. Can he find the space? Can he do anything? He's twisting and turning as he's been doing all game long. Uh, it's still no room. Jams defending well here, and he's gonna get some support from Toby, it seems. Uh, it gets that support, it goes out of play, and the referee blows his whistle. That is 6-0, a very, very good victory, even though we had the position of where we didn't have our proper goalkeeper. So fair play to Jed, fair play to the boys, for keeping it serious the whole way through and uh, I have to say that is a very good uh, victory very good win so guys at the end that means that under the radar FC are top with 15 points we've gotten a bit of a gap now at the top of the table and it's looking good but we can't let off as we worked out from last year you can lose to anyone anything can happen and we have to be very very careful Anyway, guys, that is it for this week's Sunday League. Another win that we are happy with. A very good win as well. If you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe and keep coming back to support us. We do really appreciate it. If you haven't already seen the UTR channel, make sure to check that as well. The link is down in the description below. And also, if you want to buy our home kit, the link for that is down below too. So check that out as well. But other than that, keep supporting anyway. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.